Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Aaron Busby is joining us this morning from BusbyStyle.com with a little something we like to call Style Made Simple. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Good morning. Oh, good morning to you, Aaron. This is something, okay, this looks nothing like what I've got at home because we're talking about accessorizing this morning and how to organize your accessories so that you know what you have and know how to pair it with the things in your outfit. And I keep everything in a drawer. So that's not good. It's a big fail for me <laughs> right there. Well, you have to think of your accessories the same way that you think about your clothes. Okay. You need basic starter pieces to really fill out your day to day looks and add some style. Okay. So the first group, we want to look at the two major metals okay. gold and silver. Okay. So we're going to start with gold. So with gold jewelry, you want to make sure you have this short checklist of things. Okay. The first being some gold earrings. It's important when you're picking out this basic gold staple that it's medium in size. So it's going to be big enough that it makes an impact, but small enough that you can also pair it with necklaces, bracelets, and other jewelry that you want to wear. So again, you can wear it every day, day so and day. So a pair of gold hoops on the list, right. as well as a bracelet and a necklace. As well as a bracelet. You could also opt for a watch instead of a bracelet if you okay. want to do something like that. Again, size is important. Big enough to make an impact, small enough so that it's versatile for every day, and a necklace also that you could wear anywhere from the office to an evening event, anything that you're going to. You know what I like? I like this because you've got something that's got an adjustable chain, right. it's which really, means I can do it short or long. It's really important because for most women, you want it to hit the collarbone or a little bit lower, kind of in this zone right okay. here. So if it's adjustable, then you, you make sure that you're going to get that great length for your neckline. Okay, I like that. So gold is one thing you must have, but gold doesn't go with everything. So you've got silver too. So you can, if, if you can only do one or the other, I would say go gold okay. because gold is really making a comeback, but silver is a great addition also. And I would say the same. You want the gold hoop or the medium sized gold hoop. You could also do a square or, you know, oval if you don't like the traditional hoop, if that's too JLo for you. <laughs> you can do the, the silver chain link necklace. When you're looking for gold or silver jewelry, you can also think about whether or not it's plated. Mm -hmm. If it's plated, it means it's not going to lose its color. It's going to stick around for a lot longer. If you don't have the budget and you want to do something a little less expensive okay. and it's not plated, that's fine, but you're only going to have it for probably one season before it starts to turn and not look so nice. Okay. All so right. think about that when you're out there shopping for I it. I see one of your gold pieces over here and I have to, I'm like looking at <laughs> Leslie because I know we both had this in the 80s. And this is something that would have held over if I had real gold in the 80s. Remember this? It's like a Wonder Woman the piece. The choker. The yes. choker. And these are really on trend right now. This is a great piece by Robert Lee Morris. I love this line from Dillard's. And again, this is gold plated so it's not going to tarnish. But the nice thing that we didn't have in the 80s is again this adjustable the feature strap. Okay. that you can adjust the length of it because you don't want it to be like right exactly down, okay statement <laughs> pieces that's another thing and these are some great colors you brought and you're doing it with your necklace you've got the two colors going on because I see I do it wrong I've got a bright color but then I wear a boring necklace you're doing a bright color <laughs> dress and a bright color necklace. yeah if you had a big bright bold necklace on that would really add a lot of pop to mm -hmm. your look so I think it's important to have a piece with some color whether it's a necklace or some chandelier earrings or a cuff okay you need to have a statement piece and you can also do this statement piece with something that is just gold or silver. I just like all these great colors that you brought over here. This is a great example. This pink, I'm seeing a lot of people wear things like this and that blue necklace. So many people have something like that right now. Blues are definitely really popular and pinks and corals are also a big color for spring summer. So definitely that will add a lot of punch to your look. And pearls are making a comeback. Pearls are great. I mean, if you're yeah. not inclined to wear pearls, then skip it. But if you do like pearls, these are wonderful. They're versatile. You can wear them to the office. You can wear them to a wedding. You can wear them to an event, whatever's going on. And then a really nice way to modernize the pearl is to layer it. Okay. So, you, you know, you wrap, you buy two long strands and wrap it around so you have four, like a whole layered okay. pearl look, which makes it more sophisticated and modern and fresh. Okay, bags are also an accessory. And they're expensive though. So what do you do when you're on a budget? Yes. And you want to find a bag that's a great everyday bag that you know you can carry no matter what you're wearing and we're busy and we've got a zillion things going on so we don't have time always to, to switch out bags. Mm -hmm. A color is important. So you want to look for something that's a versatile color. This is a cognac colored bag by okay. Coach. This is great because this color is going to go with your blacks. It's going to go with your browns. It's going to go with your whites, your colors, okay. everything. Another great feature about this is it has minimal hardware so you can can, again, maximize the versatility Smart, of it. Right. You don't feel like okay. you have to match it with everything. Okay. And also the zip top, if you're like me and you're throwing your bag under your desk or you're throwing it on the plane or wherever, you need that zip top okay. so that the 
crap doesn't fly out. I know. <laughs> it's all, um, it's all, I'm always losing it. What about this? This is a great summer purse. This is nice if you uh, want a more smaller uh, structured bag because this one is much larger. This is by Michael Kors. What's nice about this bag, too, is that it's made out of a leather that is actually scratch and water resistant. So if you're, you know, really beat up your bags, yeah. that would be a it's good okay way to, to go. It's okay to spend a little money on it because it is so well made. Everybody's got to have a going out purse. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a versatile evening bag, I would definitely go for a metallic. This one is nice because it's a good size. Mm -hmm. You're going to get much more in here than just one lonely lip gloss. Right. You're going to get your phone in there. You're going to get all your credit cards in there. So this is an, and the metallic is a nice neutral color. We'll go with pretty much anything. And finally, sunglasses, also an accessory. I get nervous because I've got sunglasses that have gold on the edges. Does mm -hmm. that mean I can only wear it with my gold jewelry? No, you really can mix metals. Okay. I wouldn't get too fussy about that. But if you can only buy one pair of sunglasses this summer, definitely go with an aviator. That can go with your dressy looks or your uh, more casual okay. looks. A nice oversized frame adds some elegance and sophistication. And then you can also try something a little trendier like a colored frame or like a cat eye lens. Okay. That would be a great way to go too. And these are not just an accessory. You have to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. And one thing I learned from you, whether you're styling your closet or organizing your jewelry, do it like this, right? Have it out so it, you can see it. Yeah, if you have the space in your closet, I would definitely display it like it's your very own little boutique because mm -hmm. you're much more likely to use your jewelry and remember what you have when you can actually see it. I love so it. I think it's worth it if you have the space in your closet. Great ideas, Erin. Thank you. Guys, you can get more tips from Erin. She can come and help you out in your closet. She is a stylist and a professional organizer at BusbyStyle.com. That's where you can find her. She's got several styling services for you. BusbyStyle.com.